Winning in Warzone is difficult, but it's not impossible. So today we're going to be breaking down a 16 kill solo win and showing you guys my thought process. And hopefully by watching this video, you'll be able to get more kills and win more games. Okay, so right here I'm picking a landing spot. I normally go for either a bounty contract, a most wanted, or a scavenger. But in this game, I decided to go after a bounty to get started. But I noticed a player land down here and they go for the hidden cache. And I was like, okay, I might have a chance of winning this because uh, they most likely don't have a gun. And they also have no cover. So I ended up downing them and got myself a weapon, a gas mask, and a heartbeat sensor immediately off rip. And as you can see on the minimap in the top left there, there are a few more players up here. So... There's one more behind the bounty contract. So here, I walk up. I try to spot him. He's just in there. Come out the back. I beam him, but the other player does shoot me. So I could have played that a little bit better then. I could have uh, maybe gone at a different angle, but I did eventually down that person and finish him off. Now, heartbeat sense, you can hear the footsteps. It comes down and see, break plates. And I finish. Get myself some nice weapons here. A riveter shotgun. It's not bad. Especially at the start. It could be a little bit better. Get myself a medic vest there as well. And some more plates. Now we run back towards that bounty contract. I could have sat behind this car here on the left. That would have probably been a smarter idea. But hey. So this bounty contract is on a person called Vickers Cloud. And they're just down the hill here. So... They're most likely either at that buy station or a little bit further down in one of those other buildings, but I end up spotting him right here on the buy. And I heard I was coming in, but I had that shotgun, so they got destroyed. Meleeed them twice, and they're finished. And this guy already had a loader. He probably found that specialized box where you get your loadout from. Really, really rare drop. I've also got plenty of money now because we did get that bounty down. So we can get our own loadout drop. But I decide against that. You can see I already have these loadout guns. So I should be basically fine. Yeah, I got a self-res and a... I believe it was a plate box there. And here yeah, I'm running up towards the redeploy balloon. Because it's a great way to maneuver around the map. Especially if there's no vehicles nearby. I don't really want to run somewhere for two minutes straight. So... I go for the replay, and here I do get uh, hunted by a bounty. It's only a one threat though, so that you don't really have to worry about that yet. And I end up averting the bounty about 10 seconds after the person went after me. Player most likely died who was actually hunting me, which is awesome. I'm over here at the north of the map. I see some shooting down there as well, and I do want to go get some more kills. Especially since I don't really want to camp in one building for the whole game. I want a bit more action. I also noticed that there was a... I believe it's called a Guardian on the map. And also counter UAV. There was a guy right down there as well. Beam him a little bit. Got the high ground here, which is perfect. If I landed down below, he could have maybe outmaneuvered me at close range. I shoot down the counter UAV, so... In case there's someone else that shows up on the map, I will be fine. Loot this guy now as well. Destroy his trophy system. Bit of money, some plates. Not too much overall. You can see, down to the south there, my free loadie did come in. However, there's another person right over there that got their own loadout drop. Tagged him once or twice there, but a little bit too far. This tack eradicate that this person had is not great. See, when I jump off this building, there's actually a guy right there below me, and I completely did not notice him because I'm looking up at that loadout drop. I spotted a person up there, and they have a sniper, so get behind the vehicle. Use that tack eradicator to do a bit of beaming. Now, I heard the person there behind as well. The problem with this tack eradicator is when you've been shooting initially, it shoots a bit faster, and then the fire rate slows down. It's very inconsistent. I also don't like having such a magnified optic on this gun. I prefer either using iron sights or something like the NIDAR scope. One of the best reflex scopes in the game. Guy yeah, peeked me there and I knew I was most likely going to die. So I just went down here, played it up. 
I had the guy on the zip line there, so they probably went down. And I was like, okay, now's my chance to go grab some high ground. Loadout drops right there next to me. A yeah, mortar strike, not great. That's definitely the player from right below. Or it could be someone else. It could be that guy we shot at by the most wanted near the highway. Just trying to spot where that person was at. And there he is. It was that guy near the highway. I was like, okay, going to land on top of this guy and I'll try fight him. Yeah, I should have definitely used the attack eradicator, but the player didn't really hit that many shots and I did end up killing him. I must admit, I think going for gunfights, especially in early game, is fine. Even if you die, you do have the gulag. And it's a great way to get better at the game by practicing aim, movement, positioning, that type of stuff. I've got plenty of stuff. There is still most likely one more player here by the loadout drop. They could have gone anywhere, so check the heartbeat there. I go grab my weapons here. I'm using the HRM9 and the Baz B. I'll show you the loadouts on screen now as well, but I love this loadout. Spot a guy there in the parking lot. So I'm, okay, I've got high ground there behind that truck there. Use this to my advantage. Put that Baz B out. I was going to nade that, but I saw the guy run over and, well, they got destroyed. <laughs> I must admit, this Baz B is a lot of recoil, but with the Jack BFB muzzle, it is actually really manageable. Especially on mouse and key. I think on controller would also be quite good, especially with rotational aim assist. But seven kills already, and the zone's coming in. How do I rotate out of here? I would definitely want to go somewhere a bit more in zone, maybe get a few more kills and really prepare myself for that end game. And here, there is a redeploy balloon, so I'm like, okay, I'm just going to go take this. I also have 11,000, so... Go hit the loadie. So you gotta take that right there, but I don't end up engaging him unless that person, like, d decides to come back and beam me. I mark a bounty there. I'm pretty sure I go pick this up after I buy a UAV. There you go. I bought one. I thought I had enough money for a second one, but I didn't. That guy's right up there near where we got our loadout drop in here. Another bounty contract. I've got not much money at the moment, so. Would rather at least have this, maybe get a bit more money and just see where people are at, basically. Let's see, the UAV ends, but I know exactly where that guy's at. Buy myself an ammo box. Maybe let's get an extra smoke nade, as you can see, or frag nades. I, I had no smokes there before I popped that ammo box, so at least I've got a few. I think smoke grenades and frag grenades are really good at the moment. Because if you're crossing somewhere you throw the smoke and if you're trying to push someone you do use the smoke and the hand grenade it's a really good way to clear people out of buildings i'm heading over here to old town and i notice a person on the roof and i don't think this player was using highlights i'm like okay i'm gonna challenge this guy land on the roof and i beam him i thought that guy was gonna hear the footsteps but this game does not have very audible footsteps. I use something called Loudmax on my audio, and it's basically the same as Loudness Equalization, but it's on the Elgato Wavelink software. Really, really good. See, there I got sniped at. Pop a smoke grenade. I'm going to buy another UAV here just to see where people are at. And I end up noticing a person on the roof here. And I'm pretty sure I do hear the footsteps I'm running on the top. Nothing on heartbeat, because that guy's most likely got, like, the ghost perk. Or even some, like, a stealth vest, I'm pretty sure. There was a person down here to the south. When I had the UAV up, so I'm like, okay. I'm still interested in getting more kills. I haven't been to the gulag yet, so in case I do end up dying, I could always go there and uh, try and fight my way back in. Bit of an interface bug there. That guy just took the zip there and... Could probably try to beam him here a little bit just to scare him off a bit. But you can see on that rooftop there, there is a sniper glint because there was a sniper. Could have done a bit of a better job slide cancelling there. I'm trying to get better at slide cancelling and moving a bit more in the game. I found the precision airstrike earlier in that box. I do end up using that here. Really just going off the kills and just trying to stay at least somewhere near like a redeploy balloon or 
someone like that in case I have to reposition, which I end up doing here. The guy's on the roof and I could easily get beamed, so jump back on the portable and I head over to Urzikstan Cargo. This is where the final circle is going to be at, so either like Old Town, Urzikstan Cargo, it's kind of like where you want to sit. And I'm pretty sure I end up going up to that building right there. There's, I believe, three ways to get into this building. There's the ladder on the inside, a ladder on the outside, and some scaffolding. But, see, I popped that heartbeat there. I did have that. There's a person below us here. See, the guy's right down there. I believe he was on voice chat, and I heard him as well. You can see on the right-hand side there. The guy did not react whatsoever. It was probably not even at his computer or his console both my guns are unsuppressed here so in case i do shoot i will show up on the minimap i end up finding a suppression mine i toss that down in case that guy does come up behind us there's nothing on heartbeat but the person is definitely here below us still they're just trying to spot exactly where they're at there's a person there to the like southeast like 140 150 on the compass and with a range of 32 meters, they're probably in that next building right over there. A guy here 10 meters, so that's probably the guy who went up the zip line. They're going to be either on the outside of the building here or trying to come up beh uh, behind me. Notice a sniper glint there as well. He tried sniping at us and that didn't really work out. I ran through the suppression mine, so I'm like, okay, I'm going to drop down. I could have done that a little bit better. I think crouching there, I could have easily got, like, headshot. But that person was suppressed, so... Maybe they didn't know exactly where I was at, and I was not right up above them. Potentially, I'm not, I'm not too sure, but... Hey, we're at 10 kills right now. We're doing really well right below us again. So the hand grenade down, and that guy doesn't even run away, and... My hand grenade ends up killing him. You can see the... Grenades do a lot of damage at the moment. That could have been the person from that building to like the 140, 150. And here, since the zone is coming in, I'm trying to figure out where to go. I've got high ground here, so if I jump off the edge, I could go literally anywhere in zone. Bit of shooting back there, I mark it, and I get precision airstrike. So I have to jump off. And here, I'm like, okay. I could go to that building to the left there. But most people from Old Town will go there, so I end up going into this small warehouse building. Shut the door behind us, and if you get up top here, it's a great spot to just sit. See, there's a counter UAV down south, and I end up just sitting here for a bit. I have to be careful. I end up seeing a guy there, so I mark that as well. That had the door open. I ended up destroying them. Yeah, whenever I see someone on the map, I do tend to mark it. So I, at least I know that... Oh, there was a person over there. Didn't really have that much. He did have an ammo box, which I will take. I normally try to get as many plate boxes and ammo boxes in my inventory as possible. And have at least one or two slots for plates. Okay, on the top of that crane there. And a mortar strike's coming in. And the next circle there goes near that vehicle. So I'm like, okay. I'm going to have to push either left or right. And here I end up going to the right. I end up using the harpy. And I do see a person right here. Boom. I took him out. Heard that guy's footsteps as well. There's one guy there on green cell and one in the crane. So we have to be careful about that. Go up on the roof. But then, hey, there's the person on the crane. It's probably a really stupid idea going on the roof. So I end up going back down. Nothing on Harpy. There could still be a person that's like ghosted or with like a stealth vest. Got to be careful, but I could use that office right here to the left and just sit in this for a bit. I probably should not have sprinted there or shut that door that quickly. I sh should have just like slow walked or just like crouch walked. The guy right there on Harpy. I took him out. 14 kills. Every single person's going to see my icon on the map though here. So got to be careful. The guy right above us. It seems like he's above us. I looked through the window. There's no one there, so they're probably going to be up top. 
You notice that there was this bunny rabbit. So if you melee these or even shoot them, it drops loot. And I found another durable bio station. I use the bio station as a bit of like a decoy. So on the top of the building, that icon's there. So there's a person on the roof. We knew that. And I'm using this wall right here. One guy's there. I beam him. And of course, the last guy is on the roof. And, well, they got beamed as well. And if you ended up enjoying this video, make sure to drop a like, subscribe for more, and I'll see you guys next time.